On my channel, I've got a bunch of tutorials how to do child themes manually. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do one automatically using a plugin called WP Child Theme Configurator, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture and create our child theme using this plugin. I'll see you there. The first thing we have to do is install the plugin. So let's go to plugins, click on add new, and type in child theme plugin. The one we want is called Child Theme Configurator. Has 100,000 active installs, five out of five stars, compatible with the latest version, all good stuff. Back up your site and database first, just to be safe. Click on install now when you're ready, and then click on activate. Now we have a new menu option under tools called Child Themes. Click on there to open the Child Theme settings area. And this plugin has a lot going on. This video is just going to cover how to create the actual child theme using the plugin so you don't have to do it manually. What we want to do is create a new child theme. I have the option on mine to configure an existing child theme because the plugin detected that I have a bunch of child themes, detected the Divi child theme, and the 2017 child theme. And it says over here, select the child theme. If you click on create a new child theme, it says select a parent theme. And it has a list of all the parent themes that are on the site. Now I know that Color Snap does not have a child theme yet, so we're gonna choose that one. Then I'm gonna click on Analyze. And it's gonna analyze the theme to make sure the style sheets are loading in a way that the plugin can handle it. Got a green check mark. Theme appears to be okay to use as a child theme. The theme loads additional style sheets after the style.css file. And this is the file or the style sheet that it loads. Then it says here, consider saving new custom styles to a separate style sheet. See step five below so you can customize these styles. So this plugin basically walks you through all the different ways things can happen. So if we, just as an example, chose Divi from here, click on analyze, we get the same kind of results. So we have, it's okay to use the child theme and it loads these extra style sheets. Then if we choose 2017 and analyze that, all we have theme appears okay. There's no additional style sheets being loaded. So all these different themes, I mean, there's thousands out there, they will produce slightly different results because they're all done slightly differently. As you can see, they all have a different number of extra style sheets they load. And some of them, some of the older themes still use the add import functionality for their style sheets, which is not used anymore. And the plugin will tell you don't do it that way. But some older themes will have that functionality. And the plugin will walk you through how to deal with that. So we're going to create a child theme for color snap. Click on analyze again. Here we're asked to name the directory for the child theme. It's very customary to take the directory name for the theme, the parent theme, and just add dash child, which is done here. This is not seen anywhere. This is just in your directory on the server. Next, do we use a primary style sheet or a separate style sheet for our styles? Here, if you remember, it recommends that we use a separate style sheet in step five. So we're going to choose separate because that's what was recommended by the plugin. When, if you're not sure, do what the plugin says. The plugin knows what it's doing. Parent style sheet handling. Use the WordPress style queue. That's the best method. At import, like I said, is the old method that's not supposed to be used anymore for, for a lot of reasons, including it makes your site slower. You have the option of not adding the parent style sheet handling, but we want to because we want the styles that exist in the parent to be transferred to the child so we can start building on those styles. Advanced handling options, ignore parent th theme styles, remove style sheet dependencies. Just keep that first one checked, that's all you need. Next, custom child theme name and attributes. So this pulls all the attributes from the parent theme. You can name these to whatever you want. You can call this my awesome child theme. You can put your own website URL in there, your own author name, and update all of this as you need. This just pulls it from the parent theme, so you have something to work with. Custom menus, widgets, and other customizer settings from the parent theme to the child theme can be automatically copied. If you don't do this and you already set up these menus and widgets in the parent, the child will not have those. You have to recreate those. So I almost always check this box if it's the first time I'm creating a child theme. Once we're done with all that, click on Create New Child Theme. 
up here it says the child theme my awesome child theme has been generated successfully important preview your child theme before activating click on this link it will preview the child theme inside customizer and here you can review what it looks like and decide whether it looks as it should so it's got the menu it's got the gravity form short code even though i have gravity forms not installed right now but i did copy that widget from the parent this is actually how it looks on the parent theme as well so that's not broken that's fine how it is and everything looks like the parent theme so it looks like that child theme was created accurately we can click on save and activate or you can click the x and keep on working let's click on save and activate to activate that child theme and we can go ahead and click on the x to leave the customizer it takes us back to the child theme configurator there's a lot of other tabs here that you're only going to use if you're doing advanced stuff with your child theme if you're not doing advanced stuff you don't really need that if we head over to appearance and then editor we see the my awesome child theme is selected it has our style sheet right here and a child theme style sheet right here and this is the separate style sheet that we want to use because we said in the settings use a separate style sheet so this is the one we want to use in that case if we did not have that setting we just use the style.css but the plugin recommended we use a separate one so that's what you should do if your plugin recommends that and in this child theme just like every regular child theme we have a functions file and style sheets but what if you want to edit the header or the footer in the child theme we have to get these files in here somehow and the easiest way is doing that either through your cpanel file manager or through ftp i'm just going to do it through cpanel I'm just going to log into there right now and show you how it's done here i am in the cpanel for the demo website i'm just going to click on file manager this is in motion by the way i've negotiated a super discount to in motion hosting for all my followers i published a separate video on that but if you want to check out that super discount just click on the link in the description you won't find the discount anywhere else it's super cheap for awesome hosting so if you need a new host or you're thinking about a new host check out that offer that was able to negotiate for you it's sweet click on file manager to open the file manager go to public underscore html and now we're going to look for wp content and then themes and color snap is the parent theme color snap child is the theme we just created a few minutes ago as noted on this timestamp here if we open the parent theme now let's say we want to edit the footer and the header file in the child theme now click on one hold down control or command and then click on the other and then choose the copy option and this is asking where to copy to so i'm going to copy to the child theme folder right here click on copy files once you have the directory set now if we go back up into the child theme we now have the footer and the header files if we go back into here and refresh this page we now have the footer and the header files click on either of those to open this is the exact same code as found in the parent theme but when wordpress loads it checks to see if your child theme has the footer file and it will load that instead of the footer file from the parent theme so any changes you make in here will appear in the child you deactivate the child those changes go away or if your parent theme is updated your changes here are preserved because the child theme is not updated when the parent theme is updated so that's how easy it can be to create a child theme i hope this video helps you if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below this video if you haven't done so yet click subscribe then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything and next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at wordpress and until next time keep crushing it and i will see you in the next video